great away performance and not over yet. He leaves it. It's four. And Michael Bridges has done it again. Memories came flooding back. Uh, the, as soon as I turned the corner in the car and you can see the stadium on the right-hand side, you get all these memories coming back, game days, the weight of the stadium, um, trying to take shortcuts to beat the fans in. And it was just coming in the front, it's, it's just amazing. The, the entrance of the stadium, the big picture, and um, it all just comes flooding back here. And then obviously looking out there, having so many fond memories, scoring goals, playing, um, celebrating with the fans, the bus journeys, the promotions, it, it, it's just amazing. Oh, new cupboards, eh? New cupboards. Absolutely brilliant. That was my spot here. Yeah. Yeah. I used to be this one. Coming in here. Yeah, Remember, Quinny? Quinny was over in that corner. I was here. I think that was Smudger at the time. Um, Mickey always, Mickey Gray always had to be close to the showers because there was a mirror down there. So <laughs> he, he used to be over there. But it's all changed. As a young kid, you're still nervous, a new stadium and all that, and you're looking for your senior pros, like your Quinnies, but there was the, the biggest motivator for me, didn't matter what team talk was going on, with Peter Reid, Bobby Saxon, it was all the Sacco's tactics, and then Reedy giving you the, the inspiration, and trying to big it all up, but Kevin Ball, just, remember, he just didn't hear, come on, you lads, come on, he'd look you in the eye, come on. <laughs> and there was one time on the park, um, I came on, and Bowley grabbed us and it was Huddersfield and he'll, 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 he'll remember this because as I came on we're getting beat 2-1 and I, that wasn't here but it was, this is the kind of thing that he did, he, he grabbed us as I came on I thought he's going to have a go at us but it, it's only just started and he went you're going to win us the game today aren't you, you're going to win us the game and I was like yeah 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 and two goals later he ran over and he was like mate that's what I'm on about and Bowley just had the passion and the ins inspiration. Um, the old Roker Park had the smell of the, the old the deep heat and the stuff the largest where this this didn't. This was like a, a fresh, clean, clean area and it was just yeah, absolutely amazing. And there was nothing better than actually getting yourself ready before the game in here. Warm up warm up in there. But when you started walking down towards this little bit, you knew it was happening. And that's when it all lifted and all the lads were going, come on, let's get up for it, we're gonna kill these. Day and it's just stuff, it was something that made the hair stand on the back of your neck. And then going out the tunnel, and when you, you, you catch eye contact, I used to love making eye contact with the team you're playing against, just to look the players in the eye because you get so much from body language. And you could tell the lads that were up for it for their team and the ones that weren't, you thought it could be an easy ride today. When I stepped over the white line, I could I was one of them players that could shut myself off in situations where I just knew it was it was focus time. And yeah, you, you hear the fans singing your name, there's no line. When people say they can't hear it's a load of rubbish because you can. And but when you're through one-on-one, -on -one, the only thing is where where am I going? You're analysing all the corners. I'm a bottom corner free, is top corner free, where's the keeper? All these things go through your mind. And as you get closer, you've just got to pick a spot. And just yeah, it was one of them bottom corner, and that's when as soon as you see that that net just ripple. That's when the, you just you, <laughs> oh, you take the I call them me blinkers. You take the blinkers off, and then it's just you. It's you with the fans then, because you, you're you're when you're out in a park like this, you're representing everybody that's sat in the stadium. Everybody wants to be where you are at the end of the day, and that's what you've got to. That's what you've got to remember. Um, so you're, you're doing it for everybody. You're not just doing it for you and your team. You have that extra importance being a local lad, you know. Yeah, it's got to because that's what. See, so you can't buy passion. You can, you can have all the ability in the world, but if you haven't got the passion for the for a club or for the region, then you, you, you lose some of your, your ability, I do believe. Um, but it doesn't mean that if you're not from the region, you come to a team, you can embrace it. What's it what is it like to actually walk out into the pitch and, and like I said, you stood stood here now, you know, what, what's it bring up so many fun memories? It's like, same my son said, it's, it's scary, it's nerve wracking. It, it, it is initially, but then it becomes your home and you become at ease. It's like when you walk into a new house, it's uncomfortable, it's, it's a new job. The first few weeks it's nervous, but then when you, when you get accompanied, this becomes your home and you should be proud of it. The sun's here as well, what's it yeah. like to share, being back on the pitch, being on this pitch you now, which you've played on? You well that's what I was saying, it's, it's hard trying to explain to young kids when they're in Australia what it's like to play for a Premier League football team and be part of the thing. And 
I said to him, you're coming along today, I'm going to go and show you where Dad started. When I was obviously your height, coming through the, the ranks at all the different clubs in the region, but obviously coming here to, to learn me trade and play. And then we turned the corner and you saw the stadium and you just went, what do you say, wow. And he's, it's, a, it's a proud moment because I can now pass something on to this little man. You actually see what his dad, because he doesn't believe his dad played football, you know. He, he's only seen his play for, in Australia for the Jets. He's, he's never seen us playing something like this. I know you're looking forward to going back out there, but is there any chance you could return to, to the North East or, or in England? Yeah, definitely. I came back for a holiday, Christmas, New Year. really enjoyed it. I mean, coming to, to see the stadium, it's, you get all these feelings come back to you. Um, good mate Robbie Stockdale, he's involved here now. And I, I've, finishing your badges, you, and the air license and things, you want to get into coaching again. I've had a had six months out from it. I'm ready for it again. I applied for the York City job. And I, I will be back in this country in the next six months without a shadow of a doubt. Just give me a plant some seeds, see what it was all about. And I've got that buzz for it again. So um, yeah, I'll, I'll be back.